Hi, Leo. Welcome to your May 2019 astral update. It's Raina here. And um, just a, a little heads up, I, I got new equipment and I've asked other uh, signs that I have done their readings for today if they would uh, give me some feedback on the sound, if there's any garbling, and I ask the same of you. Um, just if you don't even have to tell me if, if it's fine, you can just tell me if it's, if there is some problem because, uh, so far so good. And that makes me very happy. So for you, Leo, this is a crazy good month for any kind of, um, career matters, career developments, because the sun, uh, is in Taurus for most of the month. And this is your 10th house of career. Okay, Taurus. And so we begin the month with the sun there. You, you're the sign ruled by the sun. So what does the sun represent? The sun represents our sense of honor, our sense of pride. In the 10th house, this is your public um, stage. I mean, this is your reputation in the world. And there's a sense of confidence, a sense of pride. So maybe you are somebody who is being acknowledged in some way. Maybe you're getting a promotion. Actually, you know, what popped in my head was a six of wands, because I think that is connected to Leo. And it's that, um, you know, doing your, um, what do they call that? Victory lap. So you might be doing a victory lap for some reason. And um, at the same time, Mars is in your 11th house in sign of Gemini. So it's making a friendly angle. And um, the thing about the 11th house is that it's very social. So you may be upping your game socially. And who knows, maybe there is some kind of career connection to it. Maybe you're networking. Um, I can see like um, somebody with Mars in the 11th house just being very driven to making new connections because it's going to help your career just uh, thrive. And the other thing about this is that Mars can sometimes be conflicts. So if you get in a fight with a friend or you've, you've been having that and it really just comes out, maybe you've uh, recently discovered something has been going on with a particular friend and you confront that person. On the fourth, there's a new moon at 14 degrees of Taurus in that 10th house. So new beginnings with career matters. And um, the 10th house is also the house of the father. So there may be something uh, going on here too with um, father. On the sixth, Mercury goes into Taurus, again, that 10th house. And um, this can be contracts. So anything to do with your career that involves you signing on the dotted line could be involved. You could be talking to people in positions of authority about um, something regarding career advancement. And this is almost to me like you having an audience that you can speak to for whatever reason. And that's good for publicizing things. I think that you're going to really get your message out big time in May, if that's something that's uh, relevant for you, obviously. On the 15th, Venus goes into Taurus. Oh my gosh. 10th house and Mars goes into the to cancer 12th house. So mid month Venus is going into this career sector. Venus can give you popularity. It can make other people want to help you want to um, advance you. I mean, the 10th house is like um, the house of, you know, the social climber go, you know, it's ruled by Capricorn in the universal charts. So that idea of bettering oneself in status, for instance, it's your status and your status looks really good. And, um, this can make you popular if you're in the entertainment business, for instance, Leo, which some of you obviously are, you're going to have a lot of appeal from the public. They're going to find you very charismatic. And Mars in the 12th house 
can lead to maybe a feeling of restlessness, a feeling of like trying to uh, break out of this very, very like quiet contemplative area. So as I mentioned to cancer who had this transit in their house as well, is that this is a great time to do in particular Hatha yoga, which combines the spiritual practice that the 12th house would be connected to with physicality that Mars is connected to. On the 18th, we have a full moon at um, 27 degrees of Scorpio. And um, this is going to be in your fourth house of home and family, Leo. So a full moon in the fourth house can be a very personal thing. This can be something related to your past. And maybe you're realizing, um, you know, come to think of it, because I had mentioned that the 10th house is connected to the father. Um if you're like maybe reestablishing contact with your father after many years, you may discover something about your mother because the, the fourth house can be the mother um, as well as the family of origin and the childhood. So let me give you an example. Let's say that you've been estranged from your father for many years and somehow he comes back into your life, uh, especially towards the beginning of the month. Now, um, one thing I want to add here is that Uranus is in Taurus as well. So Uranus is in that 10th house of career, but it's also um, here to influence the area of career and father. So your father may have abruptly left your family and abruptly comes back in, you know, at this time. But you may have been told something that wasn't true about your father. And now you find that out. Maybe, you know, unfortunately, I have to say, as a woman, I love men. And I'm going to always uphold men. Um, I'm not going to bash men. Uh, sometimes men abandon their families. And sometimes... Um, there are reasons why they leave that family. And, and sometimes the mothers may lie about the father's involvement. And you find that out that maybe you find out that your father did want to be a part of your life, but he wasn't allowed to be. And he didn't have the, you know, ability to hire some high powered lawyer and, and uh, be, be a part of it. Or maybe, um, your family moved away and he didn't know where they were. I, you know, I'm just saying that there could be a revelation that occurs that involves your mother, but also involves your father. So sometimes these things can be very upsetting, but if you keep in mind and, you know, you like reserve judgment and just kind of like receive the information or the insight with, gratitude, um, that's probably the best thing because obviously with this full moon in the fourth house, it probably will be an emotional time for you, Leo, because the fourth house is a water house being the ruled by cancer. And we've got this <laughs> full moon in a, in a water sign. So it's going to be, um, high emotions and very intense for everybody, but for you especially. This may be a time of like selling a house. Maybe you're closing a chapter, um, a place that you've lived, and maybe you're actually, uh, you've already um, had the house on the market and you finally sell it. On the 21st, the sun and Mercury go into Gemini, which is the 11th house of hopes and wishes, friendships and groups, very social, but also I should say internet based. So this could be something that um, connects you with career matters. Maybe you decide that um, your career is going to be enhanced by having a strong 
social media presence and, um, or internet presence. And so you're doing things along those lines and you may be, um, reaching out to your friends more at this time for some reason. So that could be really great. And, um, the 11th house of hopes and wishes can be like really focusing on what it is that you want to manifest. Uh, maybe you are just in a, on a real role, um, Leo, when it comes to your career. And now you're able to look at some of those things that you have wanted to have your dreams come true, these areas and uh, make it happen. So I hope that you enjoyed this, Leo. If you'd like a private reading, the link is below. And I wish you all the best in May. Take care. Bye.